All right, Andre, how did that feel? Uh, it was it was excellent. Uh, it was more than I. Uh, AC just asked me, was it everything you thought it'd be? Obviously, this was much more. Um, but the feeling once we went out as a team for warm-ups, I just felt some electricity out there. It was amazing. Uh, the crowd and uh, just being here, the lights. It was just. Uh, it was. It was. Once in a lifetime, it was it was awesome. Yeah. What did Chris Paul tell you when you first checked in together? Yeah, he um, we actually share the same age, <laughs> so uh, no, he was just congratulating me, man. Like uh, like everyone has, everyone has been genuine in their uh, excitement for me, um, in their being happy for me. It means a lot when people are genuine. You can tell he just wanted to say. Um, that he was proud um, and just congratulated me, and again that we share the same age. But uh, no, it was it was really cool of him to to do that. He actually reached out to me to do that, which was cool. So you think about it in that context, uh, you know, he being a star in the NBA for all these years, and, and yep. you just continuing to battle and to battle and, and to get this call uh, the other day. How how would you summarize how that this whole journey has taken you to this point today? Yeah, it's, it's obviously it's been worth it, and it's been it's been a joy. I was telling someone the other day this. You know, 10 years in the D-League, but it, it wasn't like it was, you know, uh, uh, 10 hateful years or uh, years that I didn't enjoy. I enjoyed my time in the D-League. I enjoyed all of my teammates. I've heard from every single one of them you can think of. Um, so it was, I mean, it was it was just my route. It just happened to be the route that I had to go. And, and that's fine because I did enjoy it. Um, of course, there were times where, you know, you're not sure this day is going to happen or not. Uh, but... So thankful it did, um, but yeah, I mean that those ten years prior to this were were a joy too. It's preparation for this. So. You pick up your wife and your two daughters at the airport today. Did yeah. you get a chance to kind of look over at them and see how much they were enjoying seeing this happen in Staples and get an MVP chance uh, for their daddy and their husband? Yeah, honestly, I couldn't find them out there. I, not that I was, you know, trying to look. I was, you know, just really focused on playing, really. Um, but I'm, I'm sure they enjoyed it. We got to walk in together and they got to see warm ups and uh, they would, my kids were disrupting me doing warm ups like they do. It was, it was awesome, man. Um, I know they're ready to get to bed probably now. This is well past their bedtime. We live on the East Coast, so this is late for them. But uh, no, I, I wish I would have seen where they were. I didn't at all, but um, I'm sure, I'm hoping they enjoyed it. Andre, what, what yeah. Yeah, you know, because um, I get asked a lot, how long were you going to keep going? She was a big part of that. And um, for majority of my D-League seasons, um, they, my family has been with me, my wife and kids. Um, but last year when I ended the season with the Lakers D-League team and for this entire season in the D-League season or G-League season, uh, they weren't with me. Um, and by my wife's suggestion, my our youngest daughter was starting school, so we had two kids in school. and. She suggested that they, you know, stay back in back east, back Richmond in Virginia. So um, to answer your question about how big she's been, her sacrifice to do that is huge. I mean, I never want to do another season without them being, you know, here with me. And that's the plan going forward. But, um, yeah, and obviously the D League, G League is not a cash cow. So, you know, I mean, if, if at any point she was like, OK, now you've you've chased long enough, you know, we we need to. Uh, do better. What, what can I say? You know, um, but she never said that. Never even thought it. She kept encouraging me. So uh, that was excellent. She's been excellent. How long have you guys been together? Uh, so married over four years. We've been together though since 2008. So over 10 years. Uh, so She's yeah. Been yeah. For the whole, whole ride. Yeah. What, what, yeah. Did, what did you think of the NBA competition? And I yeah. imagine just getting on the court would be yeah. a dream come true. But to have a, an impact in a game. What was that like? Yeah, it was excellent. The, the competition was exactly what I thought it was. These, these guys are great, man. I'm fans of these guys. Uh, still am. You know, it's a joy to, you know, uh, I termed it as sharing the court with them. Um, it, it, it was awesome to be out there. Um, you you want to feel like you belong out there. You want to be able to play. But, um, I mean, just my overall feel about that, the competition and being out there, it, it was just excellent. It, it was um it was, it was grateful to be out there to share it with those guys. Those guys are excellent players, and uh, I was, you know, glad to be on the court with them. What was the emotion? What were you thinking when you saw that first shot go in, <laughs> the second shot go in, and the third shot go in? Yeah, I mean, I tried not to think about, you know, the first one going down or whatever. I just, you know, um, 
to a man, everyone was like, man, when you get it, just let it go. I don't care where you're Everyone was like that. All the players, all the coaches was crazy. So to see that first one go in, it was, it, I, I felt great. Um, and, and for them, I felt great because they wanted, you know, they, a lot of people wanted me to do that. So that, that was the best feeling about, you know, all of them going down. It's like, you know, these guys were going crazy. They, you know, just joined the team this morning and shoot around. It was open arms from everyone, all the teammates, all the coaches, open arms. Like, you know, it's two games left in the season. They're welcoming me with open arms, telling me to shoot everything. Like, that doesn't happen, you know. So uh, grateful to these guys, man. They, they've been uh, great. That, so my thought on the first few shots is I was happy that for all the others that wanted to see me do well, and everyone's been genuine. It's just been great. Uh, your wife said on, on the broadcast that this is something, you, you know, look, you started out uh, shooting the ball really well, but she said you expected that uh, coming in and that she expected that you had that kind of confidence. But I yeah. wonder when the atmosphere is as it was yeah. and everybody's going nuts, how do you kind of steal yourself as the game <laughs> continues? What are you going through in your head? Yeah, no, kind of kind of the same singular focus of, hey, man, it's great what you're doing, but we're playing a game and you're trying to win and you're trying to help your team and, you know, you know, guys are out here to play. They're not out here for you type thing. You know, that's what I was thinking. So um, that part, it, it made it a bit, you know, easier to stay singularly focused on the game and, you know, not, oh, man, this is the greatest night. You know, it, it's, it's about, you know, we're here to play. You know, we're here to, you know, win games and uh, do our best to, to do those things. So, um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't too hard at all to, to think that. I just kept reminding myself, look, this is cool, but, you know, keep going. You guys, uh, you guys can win, and, you know, guys are really out here trying to, you know, play. It's not all about you, you know. Yeah. Like Last here, question. What was it like hearing the MVP chance? Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I'm just glad the free throws went in, to be <laughs> honest. Yeah, that's, seriously, just glad the free throws went in. Yeah, but it, that was obviously, like I said, from the team warm-ups, the – atmosphere it was a it was electric that's the word you know it was electric you could feel something in there and you know people going crazy MVP chance that's just crazy man like I said just make the free throw make the free throw make the free throw you know so yeah <laughs>